So what is this uh, table right here used for? This table is used for mostly postmortems and even embalming. For those people who don't, who don't understand the word postmortem and embalming, how can you define it? So postmortem, it's autopsy. Autopsy, it's usually the thing you touch, you smell, and you see. That's usu it's usually done by the pathologist. The morticians assist the pathologist. And embalming is the process by which you preserve the body using chemicals. Mostly we use formalin. Yeah, formalin. Okay, thank you so much. So guys, this is the embalming table right here. This is the embalming table and this one is for that used for autopsy. Autopsy table right here. When a body arrives at the morgue based on the circumstances of death, the mortician determines whether an autopsy is needed. If so, the body travels to a morgue or a funeral home where a pathologist conducts a detailed examination of the body. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, this room right here is used to store the, the coffins, as you can see behind me. Before anything, the body is received at the morgue where the morgue attendant will do the paperwork. The paperwork is when he or she gets the detailed documents from the family of the deceased. This includes death certificate, copy of birth certificate, transfer authorization form. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, this uh, area right here is called the cold room. And this is now where the bodies are kept inside here after embalming. The bodies are kept here so that they can be preserved, you know, where the families come to see the bodies. So I think, let, let me show you how one fridge looks like inside. There's one empty fridge inside. As you can see, like this is now the fridge inside here. So after embalming, the body is put here so that it can be cold and preserved and well. Hmm? <laughs> amazing, amazing. After you have identified all that is required, you will give the deceased a name tag to avoid confusion, thus transfer the body from the receiving bay to the embalming room. Embalming is a method of temporarily preserving the body to make it easier to transport over long distance, give family ample time to schedule and plan themselves for funeral arrangements, enable the body to be viewed in an open casket. And how many degrees? How many degrees are, is this cold room? As you can see, it's usually two degrees, two degrees Celsius. This is two, two degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's two. That's one degree. Uh, so, uh, wh what is the use of this machine I'm seeing up here? So that's an embalming tank. Oh. Usually, it's what we used to when we are doing embalming, the embalming process. Uh -huh. it's usually, it uses the gravity, uh -huh. so you can see it's up there. So it, us it uses the gravity, and then these tubes are used when to put the formalin to the arteries. In addition to preservation, embalming helps guard against health hazards. To embalm the body, the mortician injects chemical preservatives. This includes mixture of formaldehyde, Elsin yellow and other solvent solutions. I mean, so guys, as you can see, like this is the dispatch room right here, man. Like uh, when you come to see your loved one and uh, come, to, you come to view them, and once you're satisfied, yeah, you take the body for for burial. After embalming is done, the body is set aside for viewing before it leaves the morgue. The body will be set aside in a refrigerator, also known as the cold room. The family and friends of the deceased can come view the body as they bring clothes for the deceased to be dressed in. During the preparation of the body after embalming and dressing, a cosmetologist can come in and do the makeup, shaving, since after death the body depreciates, thus changing the normal skin appearance. After dressing the body, it will be placed in a casket for the final viewing before dispatch from the morgue to the intended burial location.
so much for watching this amazing episode. I hope you've learned something new in this video. And if you're doing this course to, uh, to all the medical students out there, make sure you support your brother Elvis Derry only by subscribing and turning on that beautiful bell. Remember, it's all about content after content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.